cheat it into a period of months because that is not possible. Every business is unique. You need to discover your unique problems, solve them, and that takes a little bit of time. So expectations are important. Um, I think it's most important because there is a direct tie between expectations and motivation. If you have unrealistic expectations, you are, of course, setting yourself up for a whole lot of disappointment when you don't achieve the impossible. And it makes you feel very bad that you thought you would be a certain place by now. You're not even close. That's very demotivating. So I think it's very important to set expectations that will keep you motivated. And when you stay motivated, you keep doing the work to build your business. When you do that, you actually build your business. So expectations and success, very closely related. Um, that is why our, our Facebook group that I showed you earlier is called Small Wins. Along the way, if you accept, this is gonna take a couple of years to get off the ground. Uh, I'm gonna see some growth the whole time. I'm gonna keep at it. And at the end of it, I'm gonna have something of value. Uh, if you accept that, it's very important along the way to know what to celebrate. And it's not always sales. So some of our strategies in our marketing program are lead generation strategies. The whole purpose of them is to get a whole bunch of new people in your audience, your, your target audience, to join your email list so you can start marketing to them. And one thing we're always trying to harp on is when your goal is to collect leads, don't forget to celebrate when you do it, not uh, realize you didn't generate any sales from that or something like that. Um, we see that a lot. Like, you know, I got 60 new leads, no sales. It's like, well, it was a lead generation strategy and you now have 60 new people to market to for the rest of the year. How many did you have in the two weeks before that, right? It was a huge success, 60 new people. Uh, I think that's important. Recognize what is worth celebrating. Don't forget to give yourself that celebration because on that path over the years it takes to build a business, uh, you will need to find those moments of, uh, this is really gonna help my business in the long run. And those little things aren't always direct huge sales. Uh, so that's what I'd say, expectations, small wins, stay motivated. Um, we, the people that seem to fail the fastest tend to have the most unrealistic expectations. The demotivation is just too difficult to go through. And it's because they were looking at like, you know, I'll put everything into it for three months. At the end of that, um, I'm either full-time living off my work or it failed. And uh, no amount of, of other mentors telling them you need to adjust that to, to the scale of a couple years um, or you're going to burn out helps them, right? So they do, they do absolutely everything they can for three months. It only gets to 10% of where they thought they would be and they give up. Uh, don't want to see that for any of you. Celebrate the small wins. Keep those realistic expectations in mind. All right, Patrick, I'll, I'll bring you back in here. Uh, let's see if we have any questions. Hope you guys... Uh, get some value out of those five pillars though. Uh, but let's get into your particular situations now. Good job, Taylor. Appreciate it. Um, sure. Yeah. So from there, we really want to get into the Q and A with you guys. So the chat Q and A is open. Uh, you can raise your hands. I see Jim did that already. So I'm going to get the gym in just a second. Uh, before we get into it really, really briefly, if you guys have followed us for any length of time, you know that we're doing live broadcasts all the time. Why? because I so firmly believe it is the future of selling art and photography online. I think it's gonna be the single sol solitary, uh, uh, aided and abetted, of course, by a pandemic. Maybe without the pandemic, seven or eight or nine or 10 or 11 years from now, exactly. selling art online uh, via live art shows would be the thing. Uh, the pandemic just poured gasoline on that. It condensed the timeline. We're getting insane results as a result of it. So I'll send you a video. I just made a video earlier this week where I went like on a long rant about it, but. I want all of you guys aware of it. Um, you're gonna start hearing more and more and more. You're gonna see artists running more and more and more live art shows. The galleries, once they realize the writing's on the wall, the ones that survive, are gonna start running them all the time. It's gonna be crazy. So we've got some, some good insights on that. Um, so that's where I would start. All right, Jim, do you provide credit card processing and sales tax computation? So we integrate with Stripe, which is like one of the biggest credit card providers that there are, and they take care of all of it. Um, we don't put insert ourselves in the transaction. The customer pays you, yep. money goes directly to you. Stripe charges whatever their minimal credit card processing fee is, like less than a percent or whatever. It's the same that all the rest of them do. And then in terms of the sales tax, I can't remember, how do we handle sales tax? It's automatic. Yeah, it's automatic. It could get manual if you're selling like 100,000 in a state, a single state, mm -hmm. but uh, at the level of 99.9% .9 of our members, it's automatic. Okay, wonderful. 
Nobody likes sales tax. Good problem to have though, if you're having to spend a bunch of it. Um, but yeah, guys, any, any, any questions you have for us? Software related, business related, what you're struggling with, uh, what's preventing you from taking the next step? What's the one thing? What is the one thing? I like, uh, I like harassing for questions. And as me, I sent you, or AMZ, I mean, I sent you a video, uh, which was the live art show that you requested inside of a gallery went, went incredibly well, um, despite, despite certain, uh, uh, gallery issues for it, but come on guys, somebody's got a question. Rough me up a little bit. Okay. Pat, I see you raising a finger. I'm going to let you get away with that. Normally we do the, uh, we do the raise hand like Trish did. So Pat, you're up first. I'm going to unmute you. You probably need to hit the microphone icon that's in the bottom of your zoom. Oh, we can't hear it. It looks like you're unmuted, but your mic is either not working or having some issues, Pat, because we can't hear you. Yeah, it's not a volume thing. It's like you probably have the wrong microphone selected or something. You might just need to, there's like a little up arrow to the right of your microphone that like um, allows you to pick which mic you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you mess around with that and try to get, try to get it sorted. And I'm going to take Trish in the meantime. Trish, you're up next. You can go ahead and unmute. Yep, we gotcha. What's your question, Trish? Oh boy, we're just having audio Two in a row. audio calamities today. Yep. I can't wait until this just doesn't happen. Maybe like five years of development until things just work. Yeah, magically. Until then. So yeah. I'll, I'll go to the chat. Um, Trish, you're having the same issue that Pat is. Um, okay, maybe we'll try it. Trish, I'm gonna mute you, but I'm gonna come back to you. All right, Ruby, come on, let's not go three for three. Unmute. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. Right. There we go. Pieced it together. Things are going sideways there. Okay, what's up, Ruby? Um, fulfillment is on the artist's end, correct? Fulfillment is completely up to you. So yeah. if you want to self-fulfill, you can. If you want to integrate with one of our print partners, you can do that too. I strongly re recommend doing that solely because you doing all of that work and that admin and that shipping and talking to the printer and confirming and da-da-da-da-da are hours in your day that you need to put into your marketing, period. So. We partner with a company called Bay Photo on the West Coast. It's graphic dimensions on the East Coast, and it's truly the dropship model. You touch nothing, nothing. Shows over the door, they take care of everything. They're huge companies. They totally back everything they do. If anything ever goes wrong, they sort it. So it's a- it's and so a, we, we as artists pick what kind of framing and whatever it yep, is we want to yep, offer. Yep, all the different it's media all like types. on off switches. Yeah. Get a bunch of on-off switches. You just toggle what you want to be available to your customers. We also have recommendations. Uh, if you don't have preset opinions on like exactly what uh, brands of fine art paper or canvas to use, we have recommendations on that. But if you do have specific ideas, you just toggle them what you like, and that that's what goes on the site. You can do it per image as well if you want it to get uh, really complex. We just recommend site-wide, though. Got it. And um, also, if, if you already have a website um, going, then the art storefront just kind of clicks to like a navigation button if you click shop would would click to the art storefront yep that's that's called a bolt-on and you can do it that way um but you'd you'd be missing out on a lot if you did it that way it's better to have it be your main website and we just know you're gonna end up selling more on ours than on the other one but you have the option again like if you wanted it was rubyrothart.com you really like that site and you just wanted to do store dot or shop dot or whatever you could you could do it that way too Thank you. Yeah, no problem, Ruby. You're welcome. Okay, Trish, I'm going to try you again, and then I'll then I'll get into the chat because there's a bunch of ones in the chat. Okay, I had to redo my settings. All good. We got gotcha. you. Yep. I've only been professionally pursuing art for the last eight months. I started in January. Um, I'm a naturally gifted artist, but I am struggling with getting my work out there. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of social media promotion. I've been working extremely hard on that. And I've um, with posting on schedule and hashtagging and hat tagging and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I do have a website that I think looks great, but I just need more people to see it, more people to buy it. Um, I've even done some pricing adjustments, um, and I've also started merchandising already. Mm -hmm. It's the corona has made it hard to go to shows, go to openings, go yep. to galleries. Yeah. So it's just how to get more marketing and more promotion. Um, I guess digitally, where my where more people can see me. And right now I'm applying to a few farmers markets so I can try to be a vendor and get my work out there. Yeah, it's 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 important cuz early on, you know, you don't know what you don't know, right? Like you get a ton of compliments on your work 
and everybody tells you it's awesome. Um, and then you drive over to the ATM machine and you look for the you're awesome button and there is no you're awesome button on the ATM machine that spits out cash, which is annoying. I'm aware. So early on, you need to validate pre pandemic. Uh, my strong recommendation would have been the farmer's market, the whatever, wherever you can get a booth, right? Because ultimately you're looking to see if the art and the style that you're creating is what the market wants. You want to validate it, right? And you mm -hmm. can still do that if you can get into the farmer's market. Highly recommend that. But if you've yeah, got you, a decent... You in, Go ahead. You and Nick's, um, I watched y'all's video mm -hmm. about new artists. And that's I was struggling new artists. And you guys were saying breweries and wineries and like um, farmer's markets. And so I've been doing that. And I just applied to one before I joined the call. Wonderful. Have you, have you sold any pieces yet? I have not sold any pieces yet. I sold um, some lighters that I merchandised, mm -hmm. and I sold um, a silk scarf that I've merchandised. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do, highly recommend it, pick out this thing. I know you have one of these. Go live on one of the various different socials. Show all your work off. Say, guys, this COVID pandemic sucks. I'm trying to launch my art career. Uh, I'm doing this sale to launch this art career of mine. And as a result, I'm going to get 50% off on all of my pieces. This piece, which would normally sell for $1,800, I'm selling for $900. If you'd like to know, send me a DM. And do that 15 times and see what happens. We've no joke Thank had you. people on these calls that have done exactly that. In fact, April, will you make sure that that link makes it into the show notes? We had a gal, same position, except she's, you sound really young. She was, she was like, you know, towards the tail end of a long teaching career. And she's like, yeah. I want to give my art a shot and gave her that exact piece of advice. She went live on her personal Facebook page, showed off all her art, used that same story, and she ended up selling, I think, $900 or $1,100 worth, something like that. And she's like, okay, signed up, and she's in. And she used it to join. Yeah. Talk and, about reinvesting. And she's been Fantastic. going really well. So that will, that'll, that link to her, uh, it's, is it, God, why am I so bad on names? My brain it's, is not. Uh, Deborah. Deborah Herbert. Herbert. So yeah. it, they'll, they'll be the link to the post where she talks about it. Then go search her on Facebook. Then go see exactly how she did hers. Then go do yours. That's a great idea. Sound good? I think we lost her. Okay. That's what you got to do. Thank you. I, I couldn't unmute myself, but okay. I have, um, but thank you. I will put that into motion this week this send weekend this weekend send me a link i want to see it i will thank okay. you okay you gotta, you gotta you gotta put the time sensitivity on there so um i'm gonna take a couple questions in the chat and then amzfc you got your hand up if anyone else wants to get a hand up we can do that too uh richard max says my biggest problem is coming up with payment at once can i make a plan where i continue to pay until price is met before any work from you guys begin fixed income make it hard to come up with the amount at once um, yeah, we, you know, we do have like a, a financing company that we work with, but I would, I would prefer you didn't do that. In all honesty, Richard, I would prefer that you sell some art to raise the funds and that you would do it using the live strategy that I just advocated for Trish. Um, and again, you know, it's a bummer because you could have just got a booth at the farmer's market, but now with COVID, even if they allow you to get a booth, like how many people are going to be at that market? Half the amount that used to be there. Right. So it makes it much harder. Right. So that's, that's what I would advocate that you do. Um, Evan asked, what do you recommend as far as refreshing your site? Is it better to have a slug on new paintings like every month or send them one at a time as completed? I would answer it in two ways. One, every new piece that you add to the site sort of gives you the opportunity of a marketing moment. So it gives you an opportunity to post yep. on the socials. It gives you an opportunity to email your list, uh, to say brand new piece introduced to my store. Here's, here's, here's the story. But also the, the flip side of it is you don't know what you don't know, right? And only the market can tell you. So we, we encourage people to get live within 14 days, and we have a tech support team that helps you do that. Once you're live, you should really just keep your head down marketing for months, because what we're trying to find out is what of your body of work is gonna resonate, what are potentially the best sellers gonna be, and then we start pivoting more to that. So that's how I'd answer that. Um, Jay Dietrich asked, how much does it cost to get started? I think our baseline plan is $1,000 down, and then the monthly is, I think, 49 or 59, but that's why we do the the demo process. Like you, 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 you put in the demo and there'll be links in the chat if you wanna do this. And then our outreach team calls you, have a conversation, get any questions you want answered. And then what they'll do is they'll, they'll take you into um, like a, the demo, which goes like an hour and you can see all the bells and whistles and there's so many bells and whistles, it's crazy. So it would just, it's just far too much to do on one of these things and people would get, people would get bored. It's better to have like the one-on-one -on -one attention when you do it. 
Noah P asks, can an artist use your platform for their own art and one or more of their artist friends on the same website? 100% all day. We have a ton of art galleries on the platform that, that do it that way. And then also like, you know, our job ultimately, and, and let me just say it completely cynically, okay? Completely selfishly. If we want to grow as a business, art storefronts, make more money, everybody have a better life, champagne, caviar, dream, da, 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 da. We need to have successful customers. So the more successful our customers are, okay, the bigger the business grows. It's kind of a fantastic thing. It means your ore and my ore are in the same boat. Our job is to get them rowing as fast as we can in the same direction and keep that boat rolling. So, you know, there's there's the down payment fee that you make to get into art storefronts, which is essentially the country club fee. It gives you access to the clubhouse, lets you play 18 holes of golf, the tennis courts, the swimming pools, the ballet park, and the whole nine yards. You get that for life. And then the subscription fee is just to keep your website going. So once you pay the fee, so here's what I'm saying in this scenario. Put up a gallery, you and your buddy, two, three, four buddies, doesn't matter. All of you guys start selling. If somebody's kicking butt and wants to break off because you paid the main fee, if your buddy wants to do a site, as long as you're kind of administering it, it's only another $49 a month for his site or $39 a month or whatever the heck the fee is. I don't even know what our own fees are. I should probably do my homework. But that's that's how I would say. But you can absolutely combine up and do it. Um, you know, and kind of just go for the go for the the gallery the gallery whack. You know, there's 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 validity in it because the marketing part's the hardest. Um, okay, Amzi, you're up next. Go ahead, Amzi. Hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I only got a couple of quick questions. You seem to run over really quickly. I wanted to check on the fulfillment thing, mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to go to your printers and order some stuff to see what it looks like if it matches my colors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get their names. I got Big Photo and what was the other one? Bay Photo. Bay Photo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's no, it's okay. I talk fast and I and I I mumble a lot too. Bay Photo, and then the one on the East Coast um, is called Graphic Dimensions, but they spell it some wonky way, G R A, something like that. I don't know. They spell it some wonky way. But you can also use asfprints.rstorefriends.com, and that'll just dot com. Oh, it's just asfprints.com. That's right. Yeah, and so we we have like we have that so people can test it out and, and look at the print quality, but it's not going to be a problem for you. You almost don't even need to do it. They have every single solitary printer that any other printer has every type of ink. It's all the best, all the best mediums. It'll be like for like it, it's it, they're, they're, they're on their game. So you can buy them from our storefronts or go to the separate uh, vendors. Yeah. So I put it, I put the link in the chat. You can use that, upload one of your images, start small, you know, just, just get one done and make sure it can compare, but it'll, okay. it'll pass. It'll pass the smell test. I promise. And do you all sell masks? In other words, can I design masks and you can sell them? We do have some customers that are selling a ton. We, we are, we're integrating with this company called Guten. And Nick, normally, it's his project, so he knows what the, the deadline is. But I think we're coming up on it pretty soon to, to have the integration. And they do offer masks. Uh, in the meantime, what you would do is just put the masks on your site. And actually, with, with, with your crazy style, I would imagine the mask would probably go pretty good. Um, yeah. you know, especially your eye logo, that would be, that would be, that would be super gnarly on a, yeah, on a map. <laughs> um, so you would just throw them in your store like anything else and you would just have to fulfill them at your, at, you know, on your own up, up front. And then once there's an integration, you could do an integration. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You can uh, sell any type of product. If it's not a uh, part of our automated fulfillment, you can still sell it. You fulfill it on your own end. So that can be anything you have on stock you know, in hand, it could be jewelry and ceramics, anything. It could be digital products like uh, access to Zoom sessions where you're teaching your craft or something like that. You can sell anything like any other website. We just also have those art product pages that are all specific to selling uh, wall art. Yep. Okay, Richard O'Neill, you're up next. Richard, go ahead. Go ahead there, Richard O'Hanel. Um, oh, I just had two good questions, but I just want cool, to say thanks. Cool background. Sorry. Cool background, by the way. To, can you, Thank you. Yeah. Can you, uh, uh, my, day, my day job, actually. Are you in your day job? Is it your work yeah. on the wall? Uh, no, it's not. This is just some random stuff. So okay. I'd rather have some higher quality art from some of the artists here, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what I, what I really, the biggest challenge or the holdup uh, that we have is really is getting high quality uh, digital images to send to those printers. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest? Is there another service you offer? Because the, the art is already ready to go. I work with my mother, Rita. Who's You're awesome. going to love me on so this one. Do we get those, You're going to love this, Richard. Stuff ready to go so we can get them printed. That's one. This, is, this has been like www.hotbuttonissue.com at Art Storefronts Land for a long time. So we've got one guy who literally made his career photographing art. And 
you know one of those guys that's like so good at what they do that like they'll you they'll take three words which would do it and turn it into 27 so we had him write we had him write an article on all of the ways yeah here it is the ultimate guide to how to photograph your artwork he dude he does richard he does the iphone version in here yeah. he, he does a dslr version he does uh you know lighting how to ship it out like literally the whole okay. the whole ball of wax so you read this thing and you're you're going to be dialed okay nice perfect yeah and then the second piece is social media as you talk about how important that is and how critical yeah but you know i think a lot of artists are, are busy painting and doing those other things mm -hmm. yeah do you have any experts or anybody you can kind of connect to who are looking for a job in social media marketing to do a lot of that that groundwork for us ish when i say ish i mean ish so here's okay. why i say ish if your job richard is to own the mcdonald's you have to learn how to make the burgers and the fries and do the ordering and handle the customer service because if you don't you're going to get snowed by somebody that does know how to do that when you don't know how to do that so early early on here's how i would say it as soon as we get you guys in like my department's entire job is to get it figuratively speaking get it so you can do 100 push-ups in one sitting without stopping okay pretty hard to do right you look pretty fit don't tell me you can do it can you do 100 push-ups in one sitting no, no. no okay. Not. Honesty. I like him already. So the only way to get there, okay, is, is to do whatever you can do a couple, two, three times a day, your arm's going to be sore a month, month and a half goes by. And then all of a sudden you can do hundred pushups at that point. If you want to hire somebody fine, but if you don't, then ultimately I'm going to be concerned that you're going to get snowed. You're going to get pissed. You're going to get pissed at me. It's going to lower our scores. So, you know, ultimately that's a success. And, and to be honest with you, this is, it's so funny you bring this up because literally we signed up this gal. She started on one of these Zoom calls, and she's a member now, and she's from uh, Kosovo, but I think she's Albanian. Anyway, she's like, it, literally on our, our customer Zoom call yesterday, she's like, I have two kids. I'm a teacher. I have to do all these Zooms. I freaking have the Zoom fatigue. I'm exhausted. She's like, I don't have time. Can I get a manager or a producer to just do this for me? And... This was the exact same conversation I had with her because it's hard. It's the hard thing about hard things. Number one, for whatever reason, there's some sort of premise in the art industry. And I think it goes back to when everybody read their art history books or had that class where it was like Michelangelo was like, you know, the, the resident artist of Louis the 14th or whatever. I'm just an Italian and French, but you, you get the point. And so that, can't, that went in everyone's head like, wait a minute, there's some sort of gig out there where I just get paid to create and nothing else. Right. And it's like every artist wants that deep down. You just want to create and not do the marketing. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. So to answer the question, the, the way we see it, like we had pre pandemic, we, we figured out some things that made us a better company, but really what happened, the rug got pulled out from everyone, right? All galleries closed, all offline revenue sources closed, like done. So we were at probably, I don't even know what the numbers are, 2,500, 2,700 before March customers. Now we're at like 4,000 something or other. So we, we're, we see this opportunity now as things continue to grow and continue to grow and continue to grow to sort of build a marketing agency within art storefronts. And we're beta testing that now. We don't have it all figured out. Like, you know, it's like a, a sticky thing. So the weird thing about consultants, and this is like a big picture question is, it almost always fails. And if you ask, if you, if you interviewed, asked a hundred artists that hired consultants, 95 out of hundred, my guess would be say it failed. And it fails for two reasons. One, unrealistic outlook on the time. I'm just gonna give this a shot for three months and see how it goes. No, no chance, no chance. It takes like dedicated years. Like you have to commit to it, right? And then number two, even if you get somebody that's like good at email marketing or good at the socials and really understands it, like it's hard to sell art. It's totally different. The, the, like the, the technique, the tactics, the language, the sales process, how you follow up. Like if you don't have all of these other things firing whilst you're doing that, you're not going to get great results. And so we're looking at that saying, okay, well, we know what all those things are. So let's figure out how to, how to do this to systematize it, to get it all going. And so we're close. Realistically, my guess is we're probably six months out, nine months out until we have like a fully fledged program. But we're, we're, we know it's an issue. We're working on it. But even still, even if you had us doing it, you still got to do the 100 push ups. Otherwise, you won't know if we're snowing you. Right? Yeah. So that's what I would say. I hope that answers the question. I think you muted yourself. Well, you're nodding your head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it as a yes. Okay. And great questions. I love that one. Um, Joan on Facebook is asking the bottom tier, I believe to get started is a hundred upfront. What's the monthly fee? Like I said, I think it's 49 or 59, but we, we realize things are crazy tough right now. 
still. So we're we're having another pandemic sale this month. What are we calling it this month? It's all about the sort of Q4 theme there. We actually started it yesterday. We should talk about it. Um, so this is the whole theme, like we're doing a sale right now. We started it yesterday. We're going to be promoting it more in the next week, but you can actually get it as of right now. And the whole theme of it is that Q4 is coming up. That's, that's uh, October, November, December. That is when most art is sold. That's where a lot of artists make the majority of their sales from the year. It's all about the, the gift purchases. Everyone's preparing all year to acquire some work at that time. Um, the thing about that is that you can't jump in at the moment, like November 15th, you begin and try to get a piece of all that action uh, because other artists have been starting all the way back in the summer in just acquiring new leads, starting to romance them, as we call it, which is just the process of building relationships, bringing people in, building emotional connections between your audience and your work, showing them your, your story, your studio, your process, what you care about, all these sort of emotional bonds that you cash out on when you finally ask for a sale down the line, uh, ideally in Q4. So we're running this sale now to help people get signed up uh, this week, basically, this month. Um, so they can start to do all of that. In order to get the best results, it starts in August of every year. That is when our calendar begins uh, focusing on Q4. So our members right now, uh, even next week, are, are doing things that are all on the theme of building their audience up for a great Q4. It's all happening right now. Uh, so you would think a Q4 sale would be ran in October or something like that, it's too late then. This is the Q4 sale time. Uh, so that's what we have going on right now. It is um, a, a little bit of a break on the pricing. You can request a demo. Let's get the link in the chat there. Like I said, we're gonna be pounding it hard next week. Uh, so you can slip in right now. Not a whole lot of people know about it yet. So you'll have plenty of time to get on the phone with us. Whenever we do a sale like this, um, we end up getting more calls than we can field. So things start to get a little sluggish in terms of, uh, uh, getting like in touch with you same day, but right now you're able to uh, to get that wide open contact with us. So I'd suggest that just do the demo. Again, that is not like a sales call where they pick up and, and start telling you why you should sign up today. It's an exploratory call where we hear about your business, take a look at your work, and then see you know what specifically do you want to know about what art storefronts could do for your art business, get you those answers, and then on a separate sort of event, a separate call, you could talk about signing up. So the demo is very low key. It is not a sort of same day sales call. Uh, I recommend doing that because like I said, if you do decide to sign up, you'll get the Q4 sale uh, for the next week or so. Yeah, and I, and I would say, you know, exciting times in, in certain capacities, right? And this thing hit and you had no idea who the winners and losers are gonna be, right? Yeah. Like I, 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 I have a bike that I carry my two kids on the back and I had to drop it off at like my, my bike repair guy today. And he's like, you're lucky you're an existing customer, man. I'm going to take you, <laughs> but I'll just tell you, I'm not taking any new customers. Tell your friends. He's so backed up. He's so backed up. He's got like 65 bikes in his garage. They're like, they're like piling out. Like it, it was ridiculous. He's a winner because everyone's on bikes, right? Good social distancing activity, art and photography sales online. And by extension, pretty much everything home decor has exploded during this pandemic, right? Everyone's now at home enough to actually be sick enough of, of the, their blank white walls to actually do something about it. And so as a result, art and photography sales have exploded. No one's going back to work anytime soon. No one, so for the most part. So it, 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 this Q4, okay, the end of the year when traditionally more art is sold than all the other three quarters sometimes combined for some of our customers, everyone's still gonna be at home. It, it literally portends to be the biggest Q4 in the last 10 years, I would say, of art sales. And this, yeah. all the data supports us 100 ways to Sunday. Our data, yeah, fine, you're calling BS on my data. Go to Google Trends and type in buy art online. And Google Trends will show you, Google Trends tracks like the total volume of US um, search traffic. And you see buy art online spiking the highest it's ever been. Like, this is just an amazing time. And we're beating the Q4 drum now. Yeah, it's August. Oh, it sounds so far away. Like we're in the middle of summer. I'm in summer mode. Don't even, don't even get me going on that. You need to get going on it. If you start marketing and you start working now and you put yourself in a position that you can take advantage of it, there's going to be a whole lot of ones that can't take advantage of it. Why? Because they're just going to be like, I'm waiting this thing out. My galleries are closed. The shows and fairs are not working. I'm just going to sit on the sidelines and wait. Who knows when this thing ends? And even when those things come back, the fairs, the shows, the galleries, they're not coming back at 100%. They are not coming back at 100%. That's just not happening. 
I, I, I am an optimist. I'm an eternal optimist. I thought this thing was a hoax. I thought this thing was going to be over in three months. If that makes me insensitive, I'm sorry. I'm optimistic. I'm positive. I didn't know anyone was getting it. Now the writing's on the wall. It doesn't matter if it comes back or not. We are a gun-shy people, humans. It is not coming back at full strength for a long time. So if you are not taking seriously your digital marketing, your online marketing, your live art shows, your ability to sell art in these new and creative ways, you're cooked. You're cooked. You just are. And it, it, it's, it's why we're banging the drum. It's why we're so passionate about it. And we're really excited because all of our customer base like, you know, there, there is, there is the fire and then there's the fired poker. I've got the fire under them. I've got the fired poker on here. And I'm like, let's go, let's go gear up. I know what this Q4 is going to look like. It's going to be huge. Everything that you do all year long, it's like, you know, summer bodies are made in winter, right? Like all the exercise and everything else is just going to pay off that particular time. It's going to be, it's going to be incredible. So that's what I would say. Any other questions? Oh, okay, good. Richard's back. I like it. Go ahead, Richard. Unmute you. Uh, just one more quick one yeah. uh, kind of regarding the where the US economy is and the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of conversion for international sales for the website and addresses? Yeah, all day. You can sell internationally all day long, all day long. No problem at all. And you know what's rad about it? Um, because you know, like it, it, the way shipping works, right? Like the bigger the company you are, the better rate you get with whoever you use that extra UPS, both Bay Photo you know, the West Coast one and Graphic Dimension, the East Coast one, they're huge. I mean, they are they are multi, 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 multi million dollar companies in the volume that they're doing. So you get insane rates. My buddy, uh, Laka, and I'll show you I'll show you the background. He's been with us a long time. He's like he's like a really good uh, a friend at this point. So we use him for case studies and stuff all the time. He's the one that did the work behind me. So he had a live art show, two of them. OK, he called it his basement sale. And this is just this isn't a sales pitch or anything. This is just big picture art market. Awesome. Okay. So live art shows, two of them sold 64 pieces for a little bit over 30,000 Canadian. And he's in Quebec. He's in Laval in Quebec and Quebec and sold in Canada, shipped pieces to the United States, shipped pieces to Germany, sh shipped one piece to Colombia, two to Mexico. And I think one even went to like New Zealand or, or, you know, way the heck out there. So you, you look at that and it's like truly amazing time to be an artist. The fact that you have access to the worldwide market, the worldwide market. And look, everyone, everyone wants to get like wound up in the shipping. Uh, uh, let's, let's start with problem number one, sell the damn thing internationally. Problem number two, not so difficult to solve when the money's in your bank account, right? So yeah, that's what I would say. You totally can. It's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing time to be an artist for sure. I feel like I'm fired up today. I think it's just the weekend. Yep, I see you, Julie. Caught it. You didn't do the official hand raise, but it's Friday. I'm being lenient. <laughs> Hi, okay. hey. I'll make it really quick. Um, could you guys have, or do you guys have maybe a um, like a checklist that would say like have like a really simple checklist? Have a website, you know. Have your have your photographs, you know, your photography, you know, at such and such color resolutions done, or or you know, just a basic checklist of everything. Um, you know, your price list, your yada, yada, yada. Is there anything that you guys can compose or can suggest that would have everything entirely on there? That you need? I don't know if we have it all on one list. Do, I mean, have, you requ have you requested a demo and done that? No. I would do that. You don't necessarily have to have the demo. Just have the five-minute call and just be like, Patrick okay. told me to come and, and get this five-minute call. Here's what I want. Okay. What do you have? Um, because I, they, they, they probably have a whole bunch of those bells and whistles, and I'm just... I'm, yeah, I'm not connected. There'll there'll be links in the chat, or you can just click on the website and 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 do it. Um, okay, thank you. Yeah, good. And Noah P is asking, can you share a list of your best selling artists? Um, we don't disclose their sales figures, but I'll give you a little hint, Noah. Uh, just scroll up and down in our Facebook feed and look at that, and then and then search their names on Facebook, and then go right in and see, and you'll you'll find them very quickly. The danger in that question, Noah. The danger in that question, and it is fraught with danger, is you're comparing your beginning to someone else's middle, right? Or someone else's way further than middle. I am utterly, totally, and completely routinely surprised at, can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'll say this Friday, artists that I do not think are good. I'll just say it, photographers that I do not think are good, okay? I had an art education in, in, in college too. I understand framing, I understand composure, I understand what muddled brush strokes look like. Some of them are killing it. I do not understand how they've pulled it off, but they're doing extremely well. 
Uh, partially it's because they work on their marketing. Partially it's because they're big celebrities, like, you know, not big celebrities, but like they're really good on the social marketing. Um, and, and, and I'm sort of just amazed by it. And then there's some where I'm like, oh my God, you are so talented. This is ridiculous. It's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel and they don't get that far. So that's, that's sort of, sort of what it is. Yeah. And Katie on Facebook is laughing at me. I will never tell who I think these people are, but I'm just telling you, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of my opinions. Uh, uh, I, it, it blows my mind sometimes. And, and, and to be honest with you, it's in many levels, it's so exciting because one, you know, like beauty in the eye of the, of the beholder, right? Um, number one. And number two, it shows you that, that sadly, the best artist is not the one that wins. It is not a true meritocracy in today's day and age. Yep. You know, if, if everyone had equal attention, it would be, but that's not what it's about. You have to have the attention. And if you don't have the eyeballs and the attention, you're not in the game. It doesn't matter how much better of an artist I am than Taylor is. If Taylor has a huge email list and a large marketing following and everyone's checking his art out, yeah, he's winning. He's winning. It doesn't yep. matter if mine's better. It's like, yeah, great. It's like, you know, stated another way, Taylor and I both have a restaurant, okay? We both cook Mexican, okay? My burrito destroys his, okay? This thing is the best burrito in the history of mankind. The problem is is I am on the outskirts of South Dakota. Taylor's store, on the other hand, is on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, pre-pandemic, pre pre-pandemic. And that's why he wins and I don't. And that's it. So sometimes it's location, location, location. In this case, attention, attention, attention. That's what I got. People ask us sometimes if we'll look at their art and, and say if it's like good enough aesthetically to sell. Mm -hmm. It's like, can't do it. Not going there. Been been surprised too many times. Yeah. Can't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what we think, right? Yeah. And Noah too, I, I didn't mean to jump j jump down your throat on that one, but you know, variants of that question are what are the best selling sizes? Okay. Yeah, that's right. What are the best selling sizes? And 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 what's what's underpinning that? If I just figure out what those sizes are and make my work those sizes, I'm gonna sell. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work problem. that way. Yeah. yeah. What's what what's the what are the, the number one price points that everything's going for? It doesn't, it doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. You oh, cannot God. compare your beginning to someone else's middle. It doesn't work. You can get feedback, you know, good question. Like what are the best selling uh, 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 media types? And we can give you some info on that, right? And some good solid concrete info on that. And, yeah. and, and that stuff helps. But the, the, the comparison game is just, it, it, it's no bueno. It's no bueno, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Somebody on YouTube is asking, I sell and apply decorative finishes for walls and ceilings uh, for luxury interiors. That actually sounds kind of cool. Um, how can we help? It turns out, uh, Robbie Humble, that you, like everybody on this Zoom call, like us, our storefronts, has to continually work on our marketing if we want to build the business. So how would we help? We would help you the same way we help everybody else. We'd show you how to do that. Uh, we keep you accountable. We put you in meetings bi-weekly. We make sure you are focused on the highest ROI art marketing techniques and tactics. And you know, this is a perfect example for everyone's like, what if I'm selling this or what if I'm selling that? Is our store custom set up to sell wall art yes but is our store also a shopping cart yes a shopping cart is no different than our shopping cart than shopify shopping cart and then squarespace than any of the rest of the ones out there you need an e-commerce experience to be able to sell so you could do that all day and a little pro tip to you robbie you should definitely definitely be getting into live video and live broadcasting and setting up appointments uh for people yeah uh, just absolute future um april make sure you get the i really want you guys all to listen to this thing offline whatever and take your time um, but I did, I did a, the, the top 10 reasons to do live video. It's, it's on YouTube. You'll find it April and you can just put the link in the chat in case anyone wants it. I really want you to listen to that because if you take away one thing, you know, aside from signing up, uh, and, 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 it, you know, going for a demo and closing so you can help our sales quota, who, 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 I want you watching that, that live art video. Cause it's amazing. It's, it's just amazing. Um, any other questions on this, on this, on this ostentious art, art marketing Friday or Amzy, give me the thumbs up if you have a song. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. This is the best, you guys. We are in for an incredible treat. This is what we do on Friday. Amzi is sort of a multi-talented triple threat, really, triple threat. And he will have he will have a little art-related song that he's going to play us out on. Okay. Amzi, you're unmuted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are art storefronts. We fire our guns into the sun we are art storefronts art is fun yes 
I mean, the Lang on time. He does a, he does a different one for every time he joins. AMC. I mean, come on, Thank guys. You. If that doesn't kick off your Friday, I don't know what will. Thanks, uh, <laughs> thanks for joining everybody, and thank you, Amazon. We owe, we definitely owe you some swag in terms of like a T-shirt or coffee Woo! mugs or something, or we'll make an album of them. Too good, right. too good. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks, thanks for Take hanging care. out. Bye. Oh, I love it when he does that.